Qatar says it's continuing efforts to mediate between the Democratic Republic of Congo and Rwanda. And just days ahead of the UN's LDC5 conference in Doha, Qatar reveals how much it has donated to developing countries. In other news, these two GCC cities are quickly becoming rivals to cities like New York, Paris and London. And finally, the date is set for the next major football tournament in Qatar. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar has continued to support existing mediation efforts between Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. That's according to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which held a press briefing on Tuesday. In January, Qatar attempted to host peace talks between the conflicting sides, bringing together representatives from Angola, Kenya and the African Union. It comes amid increasing violence in the eastern side of Congo, which has seen thousands of Congolese nationals forced to flee to neighboring countries. Now, Qatar has revealed contributions made to least developed countries since 2020. According to Foreign Ministry official Dr. Majid bin Mohammed Al Ansari, the Gulf state has donated some 1.3 billion Qatari rials to help countries around the world. The comments were made just days ahead of the United Nations Least Developed Countries Conference, which is due to be hosted in Doha next week. 46 countries are currently designated as LDCs, according to the UN. Historically, the cultural capitals of the world have always been New York, London, and Paris. But according to researchers investigating the global boom in major cultural buildings, the answer could soon look extremely different. With expansive ambitions and deep pockets, Abu Dhabi and Doha are looked at as future cultural capitals of the world thanks to their state-of-the-art museums, opera houses, and theaters. For the entire report, head over to our website. And finally, the much-awaited 2023 edition of the AFC Asian Cup has an official start date. The tournament, which will pit 24 national teams against each other for the first time, is set to take place right here in Qatar. But due to high temperatures here in the summer, the tournament has been postponed from a mid-2023 kickoff date to January 20. 24 instead. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.